Hey everybody, welcome to today's run. If you join me on a wet Saturday here. I haven't got my raincoat on because it's actually pretty warm and I always find I get a bit overheated. So we're just running t-shirt, nice and bright arm sleeves until we get a few K into the run. Now last week's run was amazing. No watch, no idea of pace or distance, it was so good. And this week though, Garmin have sent me my watch back so now I've got all the stats that I require to overthink every stride I take but what I'm going to do today is do just like last week run on feel run for enjoyment run one way turn around and run back I may even do a similar route so join me today two weeks out from the ultra distance 50k 30 miles with Ben and uh, yeah feeling really good feeling very excited about the opportunity ahead and fingers crossed we get a day not too bad a bit like this but perhaps a little bit drier would be ideal a special shout out to Ben's dad who I just saw back there man was approaching look at Pretty damn strong, I must admit. And uh, here we are. Looks like Dan Rudd's. It is Dan Rudd's. And then he shouted out his Ben's dad, and I shouted back two weeks' time, two weeks to go, and uh, we're tackling that 50k. It's gonna be excellent, it's gonna be epic. What do you all think about running in the rain? To be honest with you, I'm not that fast. Uh, it cools you down. It's uh, normally a bit quieter out on the roads. People are less likely to be out here doing the things they normally do to get in the way. And uh, yeah, so I just kind of just kind of sink into the rhythm of it. Like I say, I have got my wet coat. I just get too hot. So I feel like it's probably easy just to go with the flow. Get a bit wet, I'll dry off later. Especially when the weather is so up and down, it's not like we've got torrential rainfall continuously for hours and you can predict it, but put the jacket on and off, bit of a faff, really slows down my incredible pace. The only people out this morning are the hardy dog walkers with their Wellington boots, waterproof coats, and dogs that look like they want to be inside by the fire. Keep them warm. Just hit the trail path now. Same trail as last week, but look, underfoot, check this out. That rain we've had, combined with, I don't know, Four by fours coming up and down here. Don't know why, but they are. Uh, has just meant this is this is a bog. Try not to put my foot in the mud. Although in saying that, I've just done it. Ah, oh, my pretty green shoes are all muddy now. Oh, oh dear. I'm gonna have to cry about that later. Get out the way, Holly. Ah, ah, ah. Not Christmas yet. Stay there. Well, this route is definitely testing the, the lugs and the traction on the ATR5. I'm just going to go off piece slightly and take this kind of side route. Uh, looks great for mountain biking. Oh. Morning, hello. Just scared that guy, sorry. Sorry to everyone, I hope you subscribed. Uh, he was walking peacefully now, sort of. Went, ah, I'm so crazy, I'm trying to jump He went, mm. So, sorry about that. Well, this is better, isn't it? This is what we want. Today's 
today is a good day to test out the combination. So the dry max socks with the shoes that I'm wearing at the moment. Obviously, you can see I'm not jumping into the puddles. I'm not doing any Seth James Damore awesome slow mos because I'm a little bit too far from home to want to continue with soaking wet feet. But my feet are getting wet, and uh, the drainage of the shoes combined with the the build quality of the dry max socks means that actually no time at all I can just feel that my that water that you get a sensation of just gets kind of pulled away and lost which is fantastic and gives you some reassurance but I'm still not one of those guys who likes to dive straight into the puddles just said two people say to me good morning and I have one dog walker say enjoy your run it's the bad weather bringing out the best in people because if you watch my previous videos I've said in the past people don't tend to really socialize a lot especially with me I think it's the face and the fear uh, but it's just nice today it just gives you a nice feeling of warmth when people are personable a little smile a little nod and uh, yeah just keeps things ticking over doesn't it always be kind when you've got a choice of anything choose kindness Note to self, white calf sleeve looks really good in the summer, but when you're running through muddy puddles, check this out. Certainly has ruined the colour scheme, more like a Dalmatian. But uh, we're heading into the Purbrat Ranges. That's the place that I came last week, and uh, yeah, it was altogether much better weather. I can just see ahead of me though, quite a lot of dog walkers, so I might change tack. I uh, don't want to disturb them. I'm going to run the other way instead. Same sort of distance, but uh, less trail based. But I respect other people who don't want to get in their way. I don't want them to get in my way. So just up here, you'll see the red flag. That's the hill that I ran to the top of last week. Now the red flag indicates they are training and using the facility as normal, so I'm not inside the fence. You can navigate the perimeter. I found a GPX file online. So I think it's 16K or 16 miles. I can't quite remember, but 16's in there. And uh, it's something that I'd like to do one day. I know when I trained for a Brighton Marathon with my uncle who lives nearby, we went on some great runs. I might even need to find those files and see if I can put them back on the watch, but when you don't know it well enough, I don't want to start running in and out of an army training base, not knowing where I am or I'm not allowed to go where I'm supposed to go. So always run with somebody more knowledgeable, especially the first time. Uh, but look, there's incredible routes everywhere. You can just explore for miles, obviously. If you want to go truly off course, it's just straight in there. It's just wild running, but there are equally are some, some tracks inside, and uh, this is kind of more vehicle access road, but nevertheless, a road to run on. Look at the beautiful colors here, the different hues, it's just amazing nature just giving back autumn is here we're creeping into winter let's be honest the weather is still very very mild what are we today about 11 degrees 11 degrees mid-november you know i know typically in this country the coldest snap comes in probably january time i guess but still to run in mid-november in a t-shirt feeling warm is quite remarkable just exiting the ranges now and uh back home one last thing just before i go i completely forgot that this lake existed and it's by complete chance that i saw a sign for it and this lake is out of this world i now recall running around it with my uncle but like i say i'm kind of doing this by memory my recall is coming back but okay change of plan we are running the perimeter i did just stop for a selfie or two so that will probably affect the overall time but like i said i'm not looking down at my watch once so i can't really tell you if it's going well or not actually you don't want to see my face do you hold on i 
So, uh, mm, look, I don't think I'll be navigating the perimeter, but uh, we did about a third of it or so. You get the idea, but it's beautiful and that goes back round. Of course, back round to ranges, maybe I could navigate it better the other way. But uh, yeah, what a sight. Just running on the road here, no traffic about, quite nice. Dead flat, of course, just trying to avoid the route on the road, path path, sorry, just over there. So I figured getting on this surface, look, it's harder, it's just uh, much smoother because the track over there is covered in leaves. Do you want to stack it? Not yet. When I need some views, I might. All right, then there it is, 19k, 151.49, average 5.53 per kilometre. We're just stopping here, the watch. I'm getting better at doing that cool down. Just walking at home rather than getting to the door and stopping dead and going straight in. So I'm just uh, taking my time now, enjoying the beautiful rain. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how the next two weeks can unfold. Gonna take it easy. Today again felt excellent. If I can fill it up with the demo, I keep saying it, but you know what it's like. You wake up and sometimes things just don't fall into place. And I would truly love them to. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, catch up with you soon and welcome to all the new subscribers. I truly appreciate it. Bye.